Good morning. Uh, we have a special treat for you today. One of our very own guild members, Janet Shore, and I'd like to read a little quote from uh, Annie's quilting stash about Janet. She says, Janet has a wealth of information about her quilting adventures. She's fascinating to listen to, a fantastic quilter, not a traditional one. She prefers the freedom of art quilts. And Janet is the founding member of the East Bay Heritage Quilt Guild, the Northern California Quilt Council, and knows every national teacher on a personal level. <laughs> In fact, her friends at the retreat lamented about how they can't go to a quilt show with her without stopping to greet nearly everyone she meets. <laughs> so I want you to give a warm welcome to Janet. so you have to have patience with me. <laughs> but we'll start, I, uh, I was going to start with when I started quilting, but then I uh, visited the Bishop's Branch a couple of months ago with all the quilters, and Pam Brown says, Janet, start when you were working at Capital selling yardage. <laughs> so way back in the olden days, I was selling yardage at Capwell. <laughs> now, if you don't know what Capwell's is like, it was uh, comparable to the Emporium in San Francisco. <laughs> and uh, I really loved, uh, of course, fabric. I got to handle fabric all day. And uh, I was lucky enough to end up an assistant buyer down in Oakland. In those days, they only hired men to buy fabric. <laughs> and then one day when I was at, uh, on the floor, one of my buddies that uh, took, uh, was a fellow student at Contra Costa College when I took um, tailoring and dressmaking came in and she said, Janet, I heard of a great class. Roberta Horton is starting a quilt class. Do you want to come? I said, quilting? What in the world would I want to do that for? <laughs> but I said, okay, I'll go along with you. So I went, and like I always say, I've been hooked ever since. And that was in 1973. She was the first one to put quilting in the adult ad, and we were in a little library in Albany. And the way we, I think she was one page ahead of us. And uh, we had to have, all we had was scissors, a pencil, and fabric. And she said, use your cereal uh, boxes to, for templates. <laughs> and so after we went in, we learned to make blocks. And then uh, she found a, a great big wooden frame somewhere. And for the next few, well, few months, we all sat around the frame and learned to hand quilt. And at the end of the term, we always put our name in the, uh, every time we quilted, we were able to put our name in the hat. Someone won this, we had theme quilts. And so I won the Sud quilt, which when Roberta was asked to do an article, Roberta Horton I'm talking about, when she was asked to do an article for the quilters newsletter, this was 100th issue uh, on the cover. Of and mine, you want to see mine? Yes. 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 Mine is the reverse applicant. Oh. Oh. And do you notice this is polyester? Yes. yes. <laughs> we couldn't get cotton in that color, so we had to use in the poly. And that, uh, we can turn it this way. No, we can't go through this. Okay. And the next quilt I made, we ended up uh, start, uh, with all Roberta's students and Glendora Hudson's students and started EBHQ in Berkeley, the Guild. And uh, then right away we started with little mini groups. And this was the first quilt I ever made that Beth and Jeff Gutchen were the teachers. I don't know. New York. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Oh, you do. And you can see these are the only colors you could get in those days. That's hand quilt. Everything's hand quilt. Is that polyester too? No, that's 100. We finally said 100% cotton. That's it. No more polyester. 
Now this is, uh, Roberta started the Amish class, and this quilt, uh, well, that's in the 70s too. What is that? It's upside down. This is a copy of an original Amish quilt that Pilgrim Roy had collected in uh, Lancaster. And I made mine smaller. They have the original one. That's old. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> now the next one. Is, now these are all from Roberta's class. Let's see. This one was in her book. This is in Roberta's book of Amish. Roberta Horton. Does everybody know Roberta Horton? Yes. yes. You guys are related, aren't you? Almost. <laughs> My boss. I Did you do those, um, Janet? The, the and those are the two small ones, too, from yeah. Roberta's class. Okay. This is a, ve a real oldie, and this is all cut individual, no yeah. fast cutting with this. <laughs> and uh, hand quilted, too. These are all hand quilted. <laughs> This is my old schoolhouse that I made up for Glendora Hudson's class. She taught in the Oakland Rec. And she was so fussy if you were one thread off. Very fussy. I think she was a math teacher. <laughs> This is called Barely Enough because this is a copy of one that we made. We, uh, EBHQ had a show at Mills College and they had a large one. I made mine smaller. And Beth and uh, Jeff Gutchin had this fabric that is kind of a blue gray. And so three of us made the quilt, and we said, oh, we barely had enough fabric. Barely had enough, so that's the name of that <laughs> This is a real old one, and this shows I've had this hung in my living room for 30 years almost, and it's all fake, but it's... Uh, my Japanese, my first Japanese quilt. It is Sashiko at the uh, corner there. Uh, we, our fabric doesn't fade like this today. Oh, boy. Now this quilt is, uh, I first made this in the first time, uh, time at, uh, at a Salemar. And it's uh, called Spin the Star. And uh, I was honored to have it in a quilt calendar in the December uh, calendar. <laughs> uh, this quilt I have fond memories of. This is, I went to Japan with my buddy Ann Ito and 20 other quilters. That was the most wonderful trip. And I couldn't get over how clean Japan was. They swept everything. They even swept their yards, and that's my interpretation. And this is wool from Japan. All of this is from Japan. Uh, I lived in El Cerrito, and El Cerrito's next to Albany, next to Berkeley. And I, ha I was up on the hill and had a beautiful view. So this is called View from My Window. That's the bridge. Yes, it is. That's the fog. How old is that one? 